Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Cab Over Gary. I'm back out here with my truck. And she's giving me a little bit of fits. So let me flip you around and I'll explain what's going on. So she's been giving me a little bit of a problem for a little time now. Uh, when I sold my buddy that Ford and I brought it out to her, it all of a sudden ran hot for a little bit. And uh, ever since then, it hasn't been right. Like, I knew there was something going on. So I changed the water pump. I changed the thermostat. I changed all the hoses. And uh, it seemed to be somewhat okay. But when it started to get really hot, like it's been over 100 degrees in Texas now. She's running way too hot. So she's got this system that Cummins had for several years uh called the low flow cooling system and uh from what i'm talking to all the old timers and stuff it's in the bottom of the radiator there's these baffles and i can't understand if they're saying they get plugged or if they come loose or what but the radiator needs attention so i gotta pull the radiator well i gotta jack the cab up and my cab jack stopped working and that's what today's video is going to be about I'm going to pull it apart and see if I could uh, figure out what's going on with it and get it working again uh, so I could get the cab up. I am planning on doing the radiator out in West Texas. I got a couple poly tanks that will go on the bed of the truck that I'm going to haul out there to a customer. Uh, and that will cover fuel and stuff getting out there. Then I have a shop to work in too. So... Uh, that's the plan for the radiator i'm gonna that's gonna be the last trip of it it, shouldn't, it runs it seems to run plenty cool until i got about 20 25,000 pounds on the trailer then it doesn't have enough cooling capacity after that so hopefully whatever's going wrong in that radiator doesn't go more wrong in that time but it'll just be the truck going out there and it's 380 miles and should be fine i'm thinking so that's the plan uh so today i'm gonna pull off that uh, uh pump and uh disassemble it i'm pretty sure that's the bypass valve that's my issue so it shouldn't be too big of a deal to uh get it fixed and uh we'll go from there Okay guys, so this is the cab jack here. So I gotta undo those two lines and there's a couple mounting bolts that hold it to the frame. There's not gonna be enough room to really get you guys in there, so I'm gonna do that off camera. But uh, yeah, just uh, show you where I'm going to. Okay guys, so I got the pump off. <clears throat> and uh, actually I'm gonna go pump it out to get as much oil as I can out first. Okay, got that pumped out. I'm sorry if you guys hear the fan, but it's like really hot here today and I need the fan. So, I'm gonna pull this tank off. I don't happen to have my Allen wrench set with me. These are Torx, but uh, I found one that fits it. So that was good.
I hope this is simple. I need a win. It's been a little bit of a rough week with the cooling issue and fuel prices and stuff. Really don't want to have to buy a cab jack this week too. Turn it over like this. Okay. So there's a little bit of debris on the screen, but not bad. This is the pumping mechanism which seems to be working fine. What doesn't seem to be working fine is the bypass valve. And I believe that's behind this bolt here. There should be a spring somewhere. So the pump seems to be pumping fine, it just seems to be bypassing. So I'm thinking that there's something in the ball and seat or the spring broke. I'm about to find out. Hopefully this isn't spring loaded. Okay, so there is something in the seat there. This o-ring wasn't seated right, so that could be the problem right there. I still feel like I should find a spring somewhere. the issue right there I'm sure at the bottom of here there's a good chunk of o-ring so that's the culprit right there Let's see that And that looks like a, yeah. So I'm pretty sure that everything else is okay. I just need to change these O-rings out.
téléphone. There's the second one. Let's see if I could get make sure they're lubed up good. See, that's what, like, everybody goes out and buys these things right away, but they're pretty simple. I don't know. They're kind of expensive, too. Like, this one's not an air-powered one, so this one's, like, 350 400 bucks. But the air ones are six, 700 bucks. This is an O-ring seal on here, so I'm just making sure that it's clean. Hope this works. Hope this that was it. That'd be a big win for me today. Old trucks, gotta love them, right? I do really like working on them. It's just, I don't know. Sometimes they're a pain in the butt, like mine is being this week. But, she's about ready to be all good again. Okay, those are clean. I'm gonna go mount this on and I'll bring you back when I start pumping it. 
Well guys, that fixed it. So basically what I did is I uh, mounted it back, put the hoses back on, filled that reservoir up. That reservoir is kind of hard to fill. Uh, so I pumped it backwards and got as much fluid as I can in it. Turned it forward, pumped it, and it catch air, I'd fill it a little more. Pump it, catch air, I'd fill it a little bit more until I got it all the way up and then I let it down and I filled it till it overflowed coming back down. And uh, I figure that's where it needs to be. Now, I usually use ATF in there. I think I used 303 tractor fluid once. This time I put this stuff in there and I think it's a little thick. It sure pumps pretty fast, but it's also 100 degrees out. I'm a little worried about it in winter time and uh, being a little too thick. Uh, really, in the whole system, it's probably quarter full with that stuff uh, because the cylinders and stuff had fluid in it. But I think I need a hose, I see. So I think when I replace the hose, I'm going to drain it and put uh, regular 303 in it. Or, ATF in it, probably. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna lower it back down and uh, raise it up once more and uh, make sure everything's good. Well, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope uh, that was helpful to somebody. I don't know. Do the normal stuff, like subscribe, comment. I uh, love reading the comments. I'd uh, love to see, hear from more of you. And I'll catch you on the... I got a bunch of stuff next week. Radiator, transmission, oil leak. We got some work to do. So I'll have some videos next week for sure. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time.